Level 7, Key Stage 3, Exam Questions. The diagram shows a square and a circle. The circle touches the edges of the square. What percentage of the diagram is shaded? So if we put the shaded amount of the diagram over the whole diagram, area of the whole diagram, and then multiply by 100, we'll have the percentage that's shaded. Now the shaded is in fact the area of a circle, so we do need to know what the area of a circle is. And the area of a circle is pi r squared. So the shaded part is the area of the circle, and the whole thing is the area of the square. This is 6 centimetres, so the area of the square is 6 by 6. So, area of the circle is pi r squared. If the distance across there is 6, the radius itself must be 3. So that's the area of the circle. That's the area of the whole square. That's the fraction that's shaded. Multiply that by 100 and you'll have the percentage that's shaded. So, calculate on this one, I think. So I've got to have pi... Know where your pi button is. Multiply by 3 squared, which I think I'll work out my head is 9. Then I'll multiply by 100. And then I'll divide by 36. Write down everything that's in the window of the calculator. And then write something down that's sensible. I'd say that 78.5 is a sensible answer. Percentage. Now, whenever you do a calculator question, I strongly recommend you do it again and press the buttons in a different order as long as you end up with the same answer then you're pretty sure you got the question right always check calculators and the calculator working it says here that doctors sometimes use a formula to calculate how much medicine to give a child so here we've got a formula and we're told that C is the correct age for the child and the correct amount for the child in millilitres. A is the amount for an adult in millilitres and Y is the age of the child. So a child who's four years old needs some medicine. The amount for the adult is 20. Find the correct amount for the child. So C is the correct amount for the child. And we do A, which is the amount for adult and multiply that by the age of the child, and the age of the child is 4 years, and underneath we do 12 plus y, which is the age of the child. So we've got 80 over 16, 80 divided by 16 is 5, so the correct amount for the child is 5 millilitres. Right, this question's got a part B, so it's the same formula, same information. Another child needs some medicine. The amount for an adult is 30 millilitres, so the A is 30 millilitres. The correct amount for the child is 15 millilitres. Now C is the amount for the child, and that's 15 millilitres. How old is the child? So we've actually got to work out what Y is. So in this formula, we know what C is, that's 15. We know what A is, that's 30. And we've got to work out the value of Y. Now whenever you rearrange equations, change the subject as it's called, there's always more than one way of doing it. I'm going to approach this question by... First off, multiplying both sides by 12 plus y. If I multiply this side by 12 plus y, I get this. And now if I multiply this side by 12 plus y, it'll have the effect of cancelling out the bottom of the fraction. Now I'm going to divide both sides by 15. I could remove the brackets, and that way would work, but I think this way is going to be easier. Divide both sides by 15. If I divide this side by 15, I'll be left with 12 plus y. 
and on this side I'll be left with 2y. Now I'll subtract y from both sides and I'll be left with y equals 12. So the child, the child is 12 years old. B is an odd number. Complete the table. So is this odd or even? Is this odd or even? So if B is an odd number, let's pick any odd number, let's pick the number 7. If you multiply by 2, any odd number, you'll end up with an even number. Now what about B squared? If you square an odd number, 5 squared is 25, 7 squared is 49, 13 squared is 169. If you square an odd number, you get an odd number. Now what about if you multiply an odd number by 3 and then subtract 1? Well I think if you multiply any odd number by 3, or in fact if you multiply any odd number by any odd number, you get an odd number. Just check it. 3 multiplied by 9 is 27. So if you multiply 3, which is an odd number, by an odd number, or in fact multiply any odd number by an odd number, you'll always get an odd number. And then subtract 1, you'll have an even number. Now, what are we going to do here? B minus 1. Now, B is an odd number. If you subtract 1 from any odd number, you'll get an even number. B is an odd number. If you add 1 to any odd number, you'll get an even number. So then, you're going to multiply an even number by an even number, and you'll get an even number. Now, as long as we don't go balmy thinking about that question, it's not too bad. Let's look at part B. N is an odd number. Is the number when you work it out, odd or even? Or is it not even possible to tell? Explain your answer. Right, well, N is odd because we're told that it is. N plus 1, if you add 1 to any odd number, you'll always get an even number. Yes? And then if you divide by 2, you'll still end up with an even number. I'm not sure if I need a bit more explanation than that, but with my thick pen I've run out of space anyway. So I might put a few more words in there for the examiner. If n is odd, then whenever you add 1 to an odd number you'll get an even number. And if you divide an even number by 2, you're definitely are going to get another even number.